Do you know about the abdication of the Japanese emperor? Here's a simple explanation. This is Lisa. She's learned from the news that the emperor wishes to step down. It seems to be a major issue, and Lisa wonders why. Let's ask a professor of world history. First, look at this table. See how far back the line of Japanese emperors goes. It's the world's longest lasting royal dynasty. Japan's emperors shaped the history of their nation in so many ways. One built the great Buddha statue at Nara. Another transferred the nation's capital from Nara to Kyoto. More recently, the emperor who moved the capital from Kyoto to Tokyo played a major role in modernizing Japan. After the emperor who oversaw the post World War II reconstruction passed away, his son, the present emperor, ascended the throne in 1989. Aged 55 when he became emperor, he is now well over 80 years old. Lisa is amazed at this. But why does the emperor want to step down to retire? Are his duties so arduous? Indeed, they are. Under Japan's post war constitution, the emperor is the symbol of the state and the unity of the people. In fact, the emperor has no political power. He has no right to vote and doesn't even have a passport. Although his role is symbolic, the emperor has numerous duties, including rites and rituals he must perform 24 times a year. For example, he puts on traditional robes before the sun rises on New Year's Day and prays in the imperial palace. The emperor also receives visiting dignitaries from abroad in the imperial palace and state guest house, attends cultural events nationwide and undertakes frequent official trips abroad. If a major disaster strikes anywhere in Japan, the emperor will visit the area to offer comfort to its victims. These duties demand total dedication, and with increasing age, they become more difficult to perform. The emperor wondered how long he could continue. In 2016, the emperor indicated publicly his desire to abdicate the throne. However, Japan's laws had no provision for an emperor to step down while still alive. After active public discussion, the National Diet passed a special law authorizing the abdication. The Emperor's abdication and his succession by the Crown Prince is planned for April 30th and May 1st, 2019. Thanks to the Professor, Lisa now understands the difficulties facing the Emperor and the reason this is such a major issue. The professor has one more thing to say. At the start of the new year, the imperial family appears before the public at the palace. Anyone can visit and see the emperor of Japan. Lisa would love to travel to Japan and take this chance to see the current emperor. She quickly checks her smartphone for details.